congratulations on finishing the course of 20 lessons, which may have involved skipping some of them. Whatever worked for you, finding the things that were useful to you on the course. I thought I'd just do a little kind of what to do next, just in case you've been, because I know that when I was learning, when I was younger, I was always open to kind of ideas about how I could study what were effective study techniques. So one little thought is, why not make a note of a couple of the videos that were particularly useful to you, that spoke to you, which were key learning points for you, and you might revisit them later. But not all of them, because you're trying to just select the best bits from different things. I've got other resources available. I've got a free ebook, and I've got um, a free maths ebook, which is in fact a published book, but I decided to make the manuscript of the book available free. It's literally the PDF file that was sent to the printers in order for the book to be published. Um, find other teachers. I learnt when I in the past I've learned things, and even now when I'm learning new things, I find try to find different teachers and I learn different things from each teachers from each teacher. And those teachers that are most useful to me, maybe I go back to them again and again to learn more and I kind of filter. It's just a process. And my last thought, <laughs> I mean, this sounds a bit profound, but be humble and brave. Be humble, so don't be too dogmatic. Always be open to learning new things. And be brave, which means be brave, be brave and ask for help, and be brave and offer help. So mathematics is a community where we all help each other. Blah, blah, blah. That'll do. Thanks for watching. Maybe see you in another one of my videos. Good luck with whatever you're doing in your maths.